Hi, I'm Adam. And I'm Hallie. Japan really loves its limited edition treats, and Starbucks is no exception. For Halloween, they created two specialty frappuccinos and donuts to match. How about them apples? Today, we're trying Starbucks Witch and Princess Frappuccinos and Donuts. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our latest videos. Let's, Let's get, get snacking. snacking! The first drink we tried from Starbucks was their Witch Frappuccino. So the Witch Frappuccino has chocolate and then at the bottom they have apple compote. I thought they struck a good balance between tart and sweet with this product. I mean, you've got chocolate and you've got apple, so that's, you know, fruit is very sugary. They could have just gone full on sweet with this, but it wasn't like that. Good balance. Yeah, this one had more tartness with the apple flavor. When you take that first sip, you get a lot of the compote if you stick your straw in too far. But if you take the time to mix it up, uh, and blend the chocolate and apple together. I think from start to finish, I got a little bit of compote in every in every sip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally agree with you on that one. It's so much better to mix it all up, unless you really like apple compote, but I really liked it when the chocolate and apple were all together in the same sip. So mix it up and that's, that's gonna be better in the end. Did you taste any coffee in this? No, zero coffee. So we're not too sure if for this one there's coffee in it. The chocolate and apple compote were very overpowering, so if there was coffee, it would have been a minuscule amount. For me, this was worth a try. It's a really cool concept, like a chocolate caramel apple in a drink form, and I would uh, snack again. I'm right there with you. <laughs> <laughs> It's too bad that it's only around for Halloween, though. Our next frappuccino is the Princess. Uh, it is a white mocha apple frappuccino. Definitely creamy and definitely apple-y. Mocha? I wasn't getting any coffee whatsoever. <laughs> No, there was no coffee flavor in this. Really, they could have just said it was sugar flavor because I'm, I'm certain I have diabetes from drinking this drink. It was so, so sugary. Yeah, those first few sips, if you haven't mixed the drink very well, are really overwhelming. Like, they are sickeningly sweet. Mix this one up so that you can get the flavors all balanced together. I like when it is mixed because the milkiness sort of dampens the sweetness, and I think it strikes a really good balance. The presentation on this one was really cool. It was beautiful. It was like this pastel pink with the creamy um, whipped cream on top and the milk in the drink itself. And the little and, gems. Yeah, there were like <laughs> little gem like sugar balls on top that were silver. For me, was this worth a try? I'm gonna have to say no. It was too sugary for me, way too sugary. I, I couldn't even finish a whole one of these. So because of that, I wouldn't snack again. Worth a try, would I snack again? Probably not, it's still way too sugary. Now on to our donut companions to the Frappuccino drinks. Our first donut, the Witch Donut. So the Witch Donut is a regular kind of cake donut with chocolate frosting, little Oreo cookie type bits on the top, and then in the center is an apple jelly filling. Pretty similar flavor profile to the Witch Frappuccino, uh, and I actually thought it was pretty good. I typically do not care for filled donuts, filled uh, bagels, uh, I don't really like that, but this was very good. Yeah, I think this one had a really good balance of flavors. You had a nice bit of chocolate, and the donut itself was nice and fluffy, had a good consistency. And it's really cool because it's a circle donut with the middle missing, and it still had the filling inside. I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> All right, 
The witch donut is definitely worth a try. There's a lot of really good flavor going on and I would absolutely snack again. Once again, I'm gonna have to agree with Adam. <laughs> I really like this donut and it wasn't too sugary. I mean, it's a donut, so of course it's gonna be sugary, but it wasn't overly sugary. So it was delicious. The next donut is the Princess Donut. So the Princess Donut is a regular cake donut. It's got some apple pink frosting on top and then little, I guess, Rice crispy, white chocolate covered balls on top that you can crunch on while you eat. I really liked this donut as well, which I was surprised that I did because I tried the Princess Frappuccino first and really did not care for it, but this donut was delicious. Yeah, it tastes almost identical to the Frappuccino, that apple milky kind of flavor, but for whatever reason, it works better in the donut. I think because you have the cakiness of the donut to kind of balance it out. And the nice thing about, well, actually both the donuts, but this princess donut especially, is the, the donut cake, it wasn't dry, because you can get that with cake donuts and then it's just not enjoyable to really eat your donut. But in this case, it was moist enough that it was delicious to eat. No filling on this one though. This donut was worth a try and I would snack again. I'm guessing you agree with me? I agree 100%. <laughs> That's it for today's snack attack. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, give the video a thumbs up and share it with someone you think might enjoy it. If you have any suggestions for snacks you want to see us try, leave us a comment down below. See you next time. Bye.